Hey guys, it's me, Kombosono, and welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News, where so I cover the FNAF news every Saturday. So we got some more, we got some movie news. Not a lot of the stuff this week. Last week I asked people what their favorite FNAF game was, and we got some answers. So this week is the FNAF God in 1987, and they say their favorite game is Help Wanted. Help Wanted is an amazing game. I haven't played the non-VL version yet, but it is a fun and amazing game, and that's a valid choice, and it's a lot of people's favorite games. So this week, ask me your guys' favorite animatronic. But let's get off with the news. But let's just begin with the more. So the Hot Topic exclusive Marionette Funko Pop from the Five Nights at Freddy's 10th anniversary has been released. So it's only at a Hot Topic. I probably cost $20, $10, but it's in a very exclusive Marionette uh, Pop figure It's for the 10th anniversary. So... You might as well guys pick it up because it's going to be very well uh, later on. And I hope you guys look at it. It's pretty high quality. You get the puppet looking like the puppy, you know. Typical puppet activity. She's looking good. We also got our first look at the upcoming Freddy Fazbear Foxy Mini Hooves Ducks. There's like these ducks. I think they're like little race cars maybe. Or just, just ducks. Uh, there's one on Freddy and there's one on Foxy. I don't know why he's only Freddy and Foxy. Maybe there's more ones coming out. But those are the two. Look kind of weird. I don't like seeing Freddy Fazbear as a duck. It looks kind of strange because, you know, he's a bell. And making that to a duck is kind of strange. And same with Foxy. That dude's a fox. And he's now a duck. It's a mix match of abominations. But it's coming. It's an upcoming product that's going to be coming out soon. And for the final Mort news, we have the Hexes. Shadow Collection is now available. The wave includes Glow in the Dark, Shadow Freddy, and Shadow Bonnie. Plessies, hoodies, shorts, sweatpants, and stickers. So, the Shadow Collection for the Hex Plessies are now available. You can pick them up now. They're pretty expensive, but that's kind of with Hex stuff and that. Darko, if you watch this, please send me a free copy. You can use my business email. That's not what's going to happen. But they look amazing. I really like the designs of them. I really like... The shadows are like, these are like the scariest hex pluses we have gotten. Like, they're very scary looking. And the mulch is actually crazy looking. I'm really liking that. Hoodie even has rabbit ears too. So, it's very awesome. This is some high quality mulch coming from hex yet again. So, pick this up if you want it. It's pretty awesome stuff. High quality mulch. That's why it costs so much. Check it out. I suggest looking at it. That was all for the mulch. Now we got some book news. So, the updated cover for the Five Nights at Freddy's Tales from the Pizza Plex. Graphic Normal Collection Volume 1. Got a new cover, it removed the majority of the illustration shadows and update blurs design of a pink color palette. Novel includes illustrations and adaptations of... I didn't see the rest of that, but uh... Basically, the cover is different. It's a little bit more darker and stuff, like not as bright as the original one. So it's a little bit darker, which probably fits more in the atmosphere of Five Nights at Freddy's. Because Five Nights at Freddy's is a pretty dark... The books are pretty dark, like... It, they're very, very dark, like... This is worse than Goosebumps, because... These are some graphic tales and stuff like that. I'm surprised kids are allowed to read these books sometimes. But that's all for the book news. So this is an updated cover of the blog, uh, Tales from Pizza Plex graphic novel collection. So that sucks. Well, we got a lot of FNAF news. Well, like two things of FNAF news. This week's kind of slow, so this is not going to be the biggest video. So we got a Glow in the Dark DVD cover for the Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's will be released as soon as a Walmart exclusive. So this is a Glow in the Dark cover for the Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's movies. Uh, what's this cool? I like Five Nights at Freddy's. I, I need, still need to buy the DVD, honestly, because uh, I need to. But it's going to have a glow in the dark cover. I'm kind of waiting for the Steelbook version of it, because I don't really care about the glow in the dark Halloween version, basically. Because I don't really care about that stuff, because uh, I like the Steelbooks and stuff like that, you know. I like to have collectible versions of my stuff. But there's also some other movies like Jeeper Creeper is the thing. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, you get eight movies. Annabelle and the Man. I'm sorry. No, no, not the, not the man. My bad. Uh, and, uh, there's Freddy Fazbear and, uh, I think American Psycho, I think, right there. So, there's other movies if you want to pick up that are glowing at all. Another, a bunch of horror movies. So, if you're interested in that type of thing, might as well go check it out, buy it. If you collect the DVDs, just go check it out, I guess. And the biggest news of this week, to be honest, except, except for the hex stuff, is Elizabeth Bell will return as Vanessa Shelley from Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So, Vanessa is returning, the actress that plays as Vanessa is returning in the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 movie, so that is amazing. Also, the movie is coming out in January now, instead of December. I'm pretty sure it pushed back because Avatar 3 was coming out at the same time as the FNAF movie, and honestly, that's a smart idea for them to move up the date a little bit, so they can actually propel more stuff than that, but also just because they can not lose out on money, because everybody's going to be watching Avatar. I don't care about Avatar, I think it's stupid, honestly, it's just, it just blew people, I'm not interested in it at all, I'm a Five Nights at Freddy's fan, foremost, so I'm 
looking forward to the movie and they can take all the time they want honestly i prefer things to take their time yeah i see squeak warning uh i'm put, so this is gonna be a sequel technically it's not gonna be like a prequel like in fnf 2 how it really is in the games which is actually a prequel so this is a sequel but Maybe this could be a boy uh, uh, too. You never know because it could take some elements from the past and maybe like at the end have end credits with uh, Elizabeth. But that's kind of dumb in my opinion. But that's all the news for this week. And not a lot of news is only six minutes long. So not a lot of news. So I'm just going to talk about something that happened yesterday. You can get off the video if you don't want to watch this. If you do like this video, please like and subscribe. And I make FNAF weekly news videos every Saturday. So... Check that out. I always said a subscribe and like and press the notification bell. But since that's gone now, let's go talk about what happened yesterday. Why I couldn't make a main video. So basically, I woke up and all my photos for my stuff was gone. I have photos for everything that I do on YouTube for like recording purposes, like thumbnails, my FNAF images that I use, my FNAF videos, my background music, my sound effects. Everything I use was gone. So I tried like for hours trying to recover my files. But it was no use, so I had to re-download everything, and I still don't have as much as I did before. So I don't have as much background music and stuff like that, so... Yeah, it, it sucked badly. I was like, oh my god, I, like, I was having the worst luck ever. Like, day before that, I cut myself a lot from saving, so that was kind of sucky. Then that happened, then I dropped my ramen seasoning packet. It, I was just having a rough day, but my package did come out, guys, I'm gonna show you two here. It's a... Boyjit and May uh, charms. I got it from a giveaway because I actually want something. Instead of the uh, m things I do on Twitter where I enter giveaways for like uh, YouTubes and stuff, I enter giveaways for those just because I want to win something. It's, uh, I can't really afford that stuff as now. I actually won something else from a different contest and it was for a um, Yori Girl Strive uh, charms. And they're very nice quality. I got May and Boyjit, the lesbians. Uh, it's a joke that people ship them get all. I, I honestly like to ship it. It's pretty cool. But. Yeah, I'm, I play Guilty Ghost Drive on the off time, and I, I actively play Guilty Ghost Drive, and I enjoy fighting games. So instead, when, when I'm not talking about FNAF, I'm normally playing fighting games or playing something else, because to be honest, all I've been doing since making FNAF content is playing, watching, consuming FNAF stuff. But I'm not complaining, I'm loving it, but I gotta, I, I do do some other things once in a while, but uh, that's everything that happened yesterday. So I'll see you guys later. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. So I'm gonna say this again. But I will see you guys next time.